Hello and welcome to the seventh part of my LEGO Powered Up tutorial that can be used for Country Plus and LEGO Boost. And in this part, we will stick to the hardware that we had in the last part. So you can either use the LEGO Move Hub from the LEGO Boost set with the color and distance sensor from LEGO Boost or a Technic Hub with two motors and the same sensor. Last time I used the Technic Hub combination and this time I will use the Move Hub combination. So I have a Move Hub that includes two motors, one for the left side, one for the right side, and I use the color and distance sensor. Today's goal is to avoid obstacles. So I want to detect an obstacle with the sensor and the vehicle should move into another direction when it sees something. And for that, we will use a second function of the color and distance sensor. We will use its function to measure the distance. So far, we only had the color for the line follower and similar programs. And this time, we will use the distance. The distance can be measured with this block. And my sensor is on port C. Make sure that you selected the right port. And 10 is the maximum distance. So it can only detect distances from 1 to 10. And it can't detect objects that are far away. It doesn't reach very far. So uh, that is a problem for bigger cars. And make sure that you keep that in mind when you try this on your own. The sensor can only detect like uh, 10 centimeters in front of it. And the program is pretty similar to what we had as a second solution for the line follower. But first, let's start with the start block. And now we can think about the default state. Normally, we want to drive straight until it reaches something. So first, we will need a block to drive straight. We can use this one for that. It uh, powers the motors on port A and B. For the move hub, these are the included motors with a speed of 50 and 50. I don't have to change the direction for the second motor of the move hub because both drive into the same direction if both are positive. You might have to do that if you use a control plus hub with two motors. Now the vehicle drives and we want to react on an object that it detects. For that, we can use a similar block to the detect color block or wait for color block. We can use the wait for object block. Here we can select the port of the color and distance sensor and we can select the distance that we want it to trigger at. In my case, it's nine because that's uh, the second farthest option and because the sensor can only detect close objects, I uh, want to use the highest value here. For 10, it would always trigger because 10 is the maximum value, as you can see here. So now we have a second state, and that is after it detected a wall or something similar. In that case, we want to drive around the wall, or we want to drive into another direction. And for that, we can change the motor direction with the same motor block. Normally it makes sense to drive a bit backwards, but only one motor so that it turns at the same time. There's still a small mistake because both of these blocks only change how the motor behaves and then the program continues to the next block and we want it to drive backwards for a bit of time so that it actually drives into another direction. And for that, we can use a simple wait block. Half a second is enough. But there's still a small mistake, because if you run this program, it will drive forwards, then it will detect a wall, then it will drive backwards or to the side for half a second, and then the program will stop. But it should drive around. So we want to repeat this. After a turn to another direction, 
it should start to drive forwards again. And we can do that with a simple loop. That's the program. And now we can test it. So I will run the program. And you can see that it works, but that the sensor doesn't detect things that are far away. That's actually an issue with the sensor, and I'm not very happy about it, but uh, well, we can't change that. So that was this part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask me questions if you didn't understand something or have some problems or something. I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. And see you in the next part. Bye.